Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. Today I'm going to be making some delicious fried chicken. Now that's what my Ron wanted today and that's what I'm going to make. Not all of us make fried chicken often. Many of us don't know how to make it. I'm going to show you how I make mine. It's easy and super delicious. Let's get started. I'm going to start out by preparing my flour mixture and my egg mixture. I'm going to go ahead and put all the ingredients and the amounts right here on the screen and I'm also going to put them below in the description box so you'll know exactly what I used and how much. Now many of you don't know where the description box is. Right on the right side of where it says fried chicken there's a tiny little arrow that's pointing down. So if you tap on that little arrow it'll take you straight down to the description box. So just in case you don't know where it is. So I'm going to start out with two and a half cups of regular all-purpose flour right in here and you want to get yourself a nice dish so where you have enough room you know to put your chicken in and I've got two teaspoons of onion powder two teaspoons of garlic powder three-fourths of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper because I like for it to have just a little kick but you can leave it out if you don't want to use any cayenne pepper. I've got one-fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. I have one-fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda. Now the baking soda and the baking powder together is going to give you a real nice crispy crust. I've got one and a half teaspoons of parsley flakes. I'm going to go ahead and just crush them like this. And put them in there like that. I've got two teaspoons of paprika. This is going to give your crust a beautiful color and a good taste. I've got one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. You can use as much as you want of black pepper. I have one teaspoon of salt. Now that is up to you. You can do your own adjusting. I have one and a half teaspoons of Laurie's seasoning. Now I love the taste of Laurie's seasoning in the fried chicken, it's delicious. And now I'm gonna mix it together really, really well. And take your time in mixing it because you wanna make sure that it all comes together with this. So I've mixed my flour mixture really well. Now I'm gonna prepare my egg mixture. I have one egg, and I'm going to beat it really good like this. And that's good. Now, in here, I've got one cup of buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, or you might not want to buy a whole container of buttermilk because you might not use it again, so you can make your own. In here, I poured one tablespoon of vinegar, and then I filled it up to the one cup measurement of plain whole milk. And if you mix it up and let it sit for about five minutes, it makes buttermilk. So I've got one cup of buttermilk, and I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here, just like that. And I'm just going to bring it together. And that's good, just like that. So I'm going to set this aside. Now I've got my chicken right here. As you can see, I've got them all individually wrapped. And that's because I want my chicken to be real nice and dry. Now if you remember when I made my chicken fried steak. Now in the chicken fried steak video, I mentioned to you that I like the meat to be real nice and dry because if it's real nice and dry, it'll really hold on to the crust. If you have it really wet, it doesn't hold the, the crust as well. Now, it's I'm going to dip it into my egg mixture, but I want egg mixture. I don't want any water in it. So I'm gonna be using three chicken legs and two thighs. Now, you wanna make sure that your hands are real nice and clean, because when you handle chicken, you tend to touch other things, and you can really get yourself into trouble. I'm going to salt, pepper, and season my chicken. I'm going to be touching it with my left so that with this hand I can handle the salt and the pepper 
without touching the chicken and then touching that. So just remember that that's important, okay? So I'm going to put a little salt on my chicken like this. Because you want the good taste of your fried chicken to come from the inside out. You don't want to just season the, the flour mixture that's going to give you your crust. And then after you bite onto the crust, the chicken really doesn't have a lot of taste. Now I like to salt my chicken like this really well on both sides. And now I'm going to put some pepper. See, and this is freshly ground pepper, but you can use just regular pepper. Now I'm also gonna use some Lowry seasoning right here. I love the taste of the Lowry seasoning on the chicken. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. I think you'll like it. And this is 25% less sodium. It's not as salty as a regular one. So now that I've seasoned my chicken, I'm going to wash my hands and get started on the next step. So I'm well situated here. I'm going to go ahead and Put my chicken into our egg mixture really good like this. See? Now I'm going to put it into the flour. And I kind of push it down a little bit and make sure that, that it gets well coated with a flour mixture. And then the second one. Okay, so I've got this piece nice and floured like this. I'm just going to let it sit right there. And I'm going to do the other one. Just the same. Okay, so I'm done with this second piece. Make sure all that excess flour falls off like that. I've got my oil nice and hot here. And it's set at 325. So I'm going to put my piece of chicken in real slow like that. See? See that? Now this one. Just like that. Now as you can see, it's not a real rolling boil. And that's exactly the way I want it to be. I've got it set at 325 right there. In just a few minutes, I'm going to lower the temperature to about 300. It'll be in there approximately 20 to 25 minutes. Now you don't want to be flipping it around. Usually I just put it in there and just leave it alone. Okay? I'll be back. My timer just went off. It's been exactly 25 minutes. Now it always takes me 25 minutes when I make fried chicken. Now since you're going to be frying it in your house, you need to check your chicken before you take it out. See? See how nice and crispy it is? Look at that. See? Now I'm going to be putting them on this rack right here because now you don't want to put them on paper towels because they'll get really soggy on you. So I like to use a rack like this so that they're not touching the paper towel but they can drip. Now, depending on your fryer, if you're going to use a fryer or if you're going to do it on a stovetop, my 25 minutes could be your 28 minutes or it could be your 20 minutes. It just depends on the heat. So you want to make sure that you check your chicken before you serve it to your family and make sure that it's well cooked on the inside. Now, mine is. So now I'm going to get started on the other pieces so we can fry them. So I'm going to do the same thing to these chicken legs that I did to the chicken thighs. Okay. I'll go ahead and set this one aside like that. Now I'm going to do this leg. Just like that. Just make sure that it's all well coated because this is what's going to give you your beautiful crust. See? Now I'm going to shake off that extra flour real well like this. And I'm going to drop it in real slow. Just like this. Just like that. Now you don't want to crowd your chicken. 
but I think three is gonna fit just right in here there we go just like that now chicken legs fry in less time than the chicken thighs so for me it's usually about 15 to 18 minutes so I'll see you in a little bit our timer just went off our chicken is ready I'm gonna go ahead and get it out look at this Oh, this looks beautiful. Doesn't this look delicious? Now our chicken is ready. Oh my gosh. I was going to tell you, I only prepare chicken thighs and chicken legs, but you can go ahead and use wings also. I mean, there's no reason why you can't do the same thing with with chicken wings and you know your legs and your thighs now I went ahead and made mashed potatoes and gravy and green peas but you can just side them with anything that you want see now I can bite into it mmm Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is my delicious fried chicken. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Share with your friends. Thank you. Mm.